Forget not. Psalms 103 from verse 1 through 2. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your blessings, see what God has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. And it will surprise you what the Lord has done. One of my pastors once gave this analogy. If the things you were grateful for today were the only things that you get to keep till the following day, what are the things, people, experiences you will be grateful for today? We must not forget the blessings of God we'll enjoy every day. In the book Science of Getting Rich, the author Wallace D. Waters wrote, Faith is born of gratitude. The grateful mind continually expects good things, and expectations becomes faith. Do you desire that your faith grow? Let me tell you a little secret. Living a life of gratitude is one of the ways by which one grows one's faith. Besides growing faith, however, there are other benefits of living a life of gratitude. One of them is improved mental health, your physical and psychological health as well. Being grateful improves your self-esteem too. Just to mention a few, you might be saying to yourself, what is there to be thankful for? Well, it's a Yoruba proverb that says, he who knows how to think will know how to be thankful. The psalmist continued throughout the Psalm 103, listing all that God has done for him. All right. Let me invite you to this five-day gratitude challenge this week where we will journal what we are thankful for in different areas of our lives. This way, we will think deep and be able to be thankful. So today, Monday, we're going to start with our life. What are you grateful for in life and your spiritual well-being? On Tuesday, we will be thankful for family and relationships. On Wednesday, day three, We're going to be thankful for our career and businesses, what God has done. And on Thursday, we are going to be grateful for our finances, our money. And then on Friday, we're going to be thankful for our health. All right, let's start with today's gratitude for life and your spiritual well-being. So I want you to journal. What will you say you are grateful for in your life today that has gotten better from a year ago? I'll provide more details on my Instagram page. Be sure to keep a tab on my page for updates on this five-day gratitude challenge. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we have been so, you have been so good to us. And we cannot forget all your blessings in our lives. Thank you for our lives, physical and spiritual, because we know you have been the pillar that has held us through it all. Thank you, Dad. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen, amen, and amen.